But today I thought we would uh, I thought we would talk fertilizer. You know, I know a lot of people in the in the in the fall uh, look at their garden, they don't know what to do with their gardens and so this is like uh, I think this will be a, a really uh, informative show today to talk about what you can do to to fertilize uh, whatever you have growing around the house. Um, of course, I'm being facetious because we listened to the head football coach of the Philadelphia Eagles today, and we're going to play this in a second for you. Um, you know, when he first got the job, we all can remember what he had to say, and it was startling that he was of this kind of personality. And people started to say, well, you know, I mean, maybe that's good, but you need an injection of enthusiasm, and, and, and maybe he's the, like the new Vogue type of guy. Uh, I frankly thought it was ridiculous. And then he started to be a coach. And I go, okay, well, that was just him uh, just getting the job hype. He's excited the whole bit. It's not going to stay like that. It's not, we're not going to stay ridiculous because when it gets ridiculous – Players go, well, you're ridiculous. <laughs> and so now that the Eagles are two and five, um, I, I'm, I'm trying to make myself a player in that room, L- a grown man listening to what my head coach had to say as an NFL coach, and I'm an NFL player who gets paid professionally to play the game. Uh, and I know, listen, I know this guy means well. Uh, but I, I, I gotta, uh, and there may be people with different opinions uh, on this whole thing. So what I'm going to do is just play this. I, I really am speechless to comment on it. You know, I, I, do, I don't know how to comment on something like this. And that's why I'm going to leave it up to you guys to comment today. But, uh, Tyro, let's, uh, let's right out of the shoot play Nick Sirianni, try and explain where they are at this point. And, and how they intend to, to, to build. There's got to be a message that I have to keep everybody, to keep everybody together and to keep everybody, um, to, it's really it's that together and keep everybody sticking to the, what, what we really want to do. And that's, right, I kind of, this is what I said to the team today, is that I said, right, that, that, you know, the results aren't there right now. But what's going on here is is that there's growth under the soil. I, I, I put a picture of a, a flower up, right, and that it's and it's coming through the ground and the roots are growing out and the roots and the roots are continuing to grow out. And everybody wants to see results. Shoot, we nobody wants to see results more than us, right? We want to see results too. But it's really important that that the the foundation is being built and that the the roots are growing out and the only way the roots grow out every single day and they grow stronger and they grow they grow better is if that we all put our we all water we all fertilize we all do our part each each individual each individual coach each individual player each everybody in in the building that we do our part to water to make sure that when it does pop out it it, it really it really pops out uh pops out and it grows and so that was my message today and so there's all I'm always I, like I said to you guys before I'm always thinking of different messages to give to the team um, that either messages that I think that really fit to the situation that I've gotten before in a situation um, from another head coach or that I've that from my dad or whatever and so that was my message today because uh, we are going through tough times and everybody wants to see results and and, the, and but just keep doing what we're doing. Keep watering. Keep and, and look at yourself first, and, and know if are you are you watering and are you fertilizing every day. So when it's time to pop, it will pop. Um, I literally have nothing to say. I this is like maybe the first time ever that I heard something which I find that's just so ridiculous that it's made me speechless. And, and I'm I'm trying to put my myself in the brain of a pro player who is sitting there in that auditorium watching a picture of a flower on a screen. Uh, Like the message fundamentally, if you were talking to a 12-year-old, probably resonates. Uh, When you're talking to grown men, I got to think, like just like when Gabe Kaplan trotted at the curveball machine, this is at least a thousand times worse. It may be more. So I, I, I don't know. I don't have anything to say about it. Uh, Tyrone, do you? Um, so what? So, 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 so the curveball machine was his attempt to say, hey, we're having trouble hitting curveballs. 
So I'm going to provide something for you guys to do a better job hitting curveballs. And it was dumb, but at least it was baseball. The issue here is he's, he's wasting now. He took two minutes to say that. Could you imagine how long he meandered on in front of the players about something that has nothing to do with football? Because if you have to sell togetherness that hard, then you're already not together. How about on a Wednesday when you open practice for the Lions, a team you should be able to beat, you give them a football plan that they can believe in and go execute and go win the football game? I always thought, and I could be – I could be jaded i admit but i always thought the coach just you just want to hear something like do this and you'll have success i don't want to hear about fertilizer and roots and all that kind of stuff if i'm a pro athlete tell me what we have to do different on sunday that will win the game because we're one block punt away from a six game losing streak the players are aware of that what are we going to do different football wise so that we can win the game sunday because I don't care about a fertilizer. Now, maybe the, maybe the players buy into it, but I just find it hard to believe. Jen? Well, um, I, I I can't imagine that the players sitting there are just trying not to laugh. I mean, how do you keep a straight face when that's going on? And if, if that's happening, then you're this close, <laughs> now for, this close to losing. Now, them. for me, I, I took it to heart because, like, I'm in the off season with my garden, and I, I think it's a good idea. Well, it, yeah. it, it, kept, it kept me on the subject uh, and, and made me think about the stuff that I need to use in the fall. Like, uh, like if you're going to uh, list some, some great fertilizers, uh, and we went over this, um, you, you, like, you can't beat cow manure. Uh, a That's lot of people like to use the Mir- Miracle Grow, the the blue uh, uh, powder that you put in the in the applicator and you hook it up to your hose. It works. Uh, I use the uh, the Holly Tone for for some uh, bushes, some evergreens, and or tree tone. And there's a, there's always Scott Turf Builder that you apply in the autumn to get the your grass going. There's there's Osmocote, Jen. I know you're a big fan. Oh, of, yeah. of Osmocote. That's my favorite. And then uh, Tyrone, the, you, know, you, you were telling me about uh, how your relatives have the. The, the compost drum yes. and make the homemade compost. Yep, with all is, the natural is, stuff. Which is always good. Banana for, peels and yeah, eggshells Right, it's always such. good for, for rooting a system. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have never heard anything like this come out of a pro coach's mouth. I'm sorry. I, I know I don't want to make this uh, overhype it. I, I just don't know what to say. Uh, I, I'm, just, I'm just stunned that this is a professional outfit. And uh, that's what the head coach said today. So, if you think it was good, I, I'll sit here and listen to it. I, you know, I um, we're here to learn, and uh, a lot of people like the stuff that Sirianni says. And I listen. I liked it early. Uh, you know, I thought he had changed the whole platform and became a NFL head coach in front of our eyes. But um, I, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> 